Yeah, I don't know. I feel cold. So, 221 and 222. Uh, lots of dancing today, because, you know, a couple tutus. Hey. So, it is all dilation and similarity. I think I just killed Jake. <laughs> I think I said it too fast. You maybe missed it. I said lots of dancing no, today because we have two tutus. I'm just saying it's just bad. Yeah. He's just like it, it's just so bad. So today we're going to talk about dilations and similarity. And actually, I have an offer for you. We probably don't need to do both of these practices. So if you would like to pick six problems between the two two one and two 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 homework. That can be our homework for today, although I know some of you probably already did it because did you it. probably don't have lots of assignments assigned to you yet from all of your I classes. Yeah, I mean, yesterday we said if we didn't get the test done and then you could do 221 and we didn't get to the lesson. So we're not doing this because all my rubber bands are crappy and just breaking as soon as I pull on them, so I threw them away and I need to order more. Awesome. But we could do this at some point. It's more fun if we do this with like a stick figure or um, something that's not a shape. But if we held a rubber band on the origin and had knots tying multiple rubber bands together, and you guys can try this, or if you find another eighth grade teacher who has rubber bands, uh, we could do this. Um, yes, so you make just a little chain, but then, then you have to keep the first knot on the image. So you stretch, out here to get the first knot on the image and then you draw keeping the first knot on the image so i'm going to try to get rubber bands i'm going to try to have us do this but when i went to prep this all my rubber bands got so old that they are just dried out and bad so it's not going to work so what is what makes similar polygons or not so if we look at these sailboats here connor same angle measures, same angle measures okay Hmm? What about it? Okay. Oh. So, you guys ever heard the one of these things is not like the other? Yeah. I think it's from, uh, I think it's from Sesame Street. Probably. So, one of these things is not like the other. It has to have all the same pieces as the original. Now, when we compare, though, does this sailboat look the same size as this sailboat? Yeah. Oh, it's not the same. They look different to me. Here, if we don't believe it, let's try this. Height of this boat from the top of the sail down to the waves. Whoops. I think it changed size when you brought it down. Because that sailboat's further in the back. Mm. So that How do we know that, though? Because it looks like... It's so... I need you guys to decide, are all these polygons similar to each other, and how could we justify it if they look different? How could we justify it if someone learning similarity? So, as the question that I didn't get a chance to scroll past because I can't scroll any further, so you can think about a sequence of transformations. Wait, do you have a protractor? No. So, you can make if statements. Why do we not have a protractor? Because protractors don't count on work like this. Yeah. Oh. Remember, we said you can't physically measure the angle. We just have to go with what they tell us. Yeah, so, what is the if, though? If. Why are you asking for a protractor? Well, because we don't know the angle. Why does that matter? Because they have to be congruent. Ooh, so if all three angles are congruent... And what else? All five or all three, I guess. I'm, I'm mixing up A and B. What else, though? What would we need to be able to check if we numerically had things? Ooh, so on a paper. I don't know why two of us don't have paper out, because we always need graphical paper in that classroom. We have a whole stack of paper, right? Yesterday, that's what they're doing. Dilations. Is it D I A? L A T I L N S? Yeah, just D I L. It's dilations, not dilations. 
dilation slash similarity. So we said congruent angle measures. Because we like using math words now. Yay, math. Math. Oh, math. Let's use an eighth grade. Congruent angle measures in the how could we say that formally though? That whole you're talking about this relationship in length. Man, I'm really hungry. Why are you hungry? Dude, I don't even get breakfast. Or is that yeah. your lunch today? I was about to say, if you're not taking advantage of free breakfast here, you guys yeah, totally should be. You um, should 100%. I don't have time in the morning, though. Well, I would make time. They have chocolate muffins. I, 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 I can't make time. I ride the bus. Just, yeah, when you get off the bus, go walk through there, grab food, eat real quick, and then come down here. There's no way that you're not getting here until like 7.35. Or is there? Well, Those donuts are like, no, but not it's funny. I, I have to be in class. So. Not 7.40. I bet you could make time to eat. All right, but what, what, so let's be mathy. Okay. The sides have to have what? A scale factor. So a scale factor relates every, what are we going to have? What do we, um, that word that means like this. Ah, so a scale factor relates corresponding sides. An active for some, so like, a, like, cause sometimes they don't know if you're actually not knowing if the word is, what it is, or it's just active. active. The secret is, I really don't know anything. <laughs> well, I just know how to ask questions. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna check is if we figure out which side should correspond with which side, do we have a consistent scale yes. factor between them? And like we said, uh, I forget what type of proof it is. There's that type of proof that if we can say this, then we know that. So you call it proof. Well, nah, I mean, yeah, it's one of those. But I think if we figure out this, doesn't that inherently make this true? So all we really need to do is prove the scale factor. Yeah, we, so it's essentially side, 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 just scale factor, side, side, side. Take some time with this. You guys are awesome. Wow, you gotta justify. See, you take triangle ACG and divide it by two, and then you get triangle the other one. I don't wanna... Use a pencil! Don't use a pencil on a smartphone. No, but it goes, I don't know what those are called. No, use your eraser. It's no. like a pencil, but an eraser. No, don't do that. Actually, I think that has a proportional. Yeah, it would. Well, it erases it properly. Why would you? Five goes to, what is that? No, that's a gamma? No, it's ten. That's not a zero. Yes, it is. Mm. That's insane. So if then, I did it. Huh, cool. if then, what's our relationship or our uh, order? Oh, th that means similar. Okay. Dog what's cat. our order? Dog cat. Dog cat. What they want you. Dog to do. act at. ATC is actually a climbing device, cat. and ATC dog. is short for an air traffic controller. Wait, wait. So we're saying it's the D one. It's the OG. Dog to cat. It's not God no, to cat. Wait, wait are you cat. really? Are you, has, wait. Isn't it no, CT? Sorry, not in the cat I think it's this one. <laughs> wait a minute. Akshaya thinks it's that one. Uh oh, those are different from each other. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. But, but it sounds better as dog to cat. <laughs> I know, but that's so, wait, if it's dog to CTA, 
are any of the other ones? Because then I have a starting with OGD and a starting with DGO. No, because you're, suppo you're supposed to do the one that's, um, like, the, the makes the most sense to remember. I agree. This one works, too. Hey, my that circle is so nice. So DGO, so hold on, DGO goes middle side, then short side? Yeah, that was... So CAT, does that go middle side, then short side? Wait, CAT? Oh, it is long side to short side, isn't it? DG. Wait, no. D oh, because that one changed to DGO, not DOG. Ah. DGO is long side. And then III doesn't work either. OGD. What is OGD? Starts with. OGD is short side, then long side. ATC, short side, side, medium side. All right, so good identification there. We don't have to do that, but I know it's fun. It's very fun. Yay! It used to be even more fun when it, we had the physical eraser, like, sponge oh, thing. Yeah, those could, were like, so press fun. press on the board. Uh, at least I thought. And then they'd have to be and, and touch each of the Oh, calibrating it? Yeah, yeah. that was oh, the best how. part. I do not miss calibrating the smart That was fun, and then everyone would just come and go bing bing bing. Look, you guys don't even understand. There will be very soon a generation of kids that has no idea what you're talking about. When you say, yeah. you remember calibrating the smart board? And they're like, what? And do you guys remember why? Because like, it would be too slow or something. The projector was sense. There was a separate projector oh, throwing yeah. the image, and this was just, all this was doing was picking up the image or picking up the touch. So literally, like, you had to sync up the, the touch and the throw. All right, so dilations. I don't care if you guys keep standing. It's only mildly awkward, but if you want to stand, that's fine. Let me stand up. Dilations lead us to similarity. That I'm not even supposed to do. Jay, I'm not even supposed to do that, so I probably shouldn't let you, because if you fall and bump your head, I'll get in trouble. Then we'll say Mr. Hudson showed us that it's cool. Yeah, and then I'll show the video and be like, look, defense. I told him to stop. <laughs> so, dilation. Here is the confusing part. Dilation can happen in two different ways. We can either dilate from, well, actually three different ways, really. And this is me, like, off-book teaching. Here, we're actually doing two of the ways at once. We're dilating from the origin and from one of the points of the shape being used as the center of dilation. So actually, we probably should sit down and write this down because you guys haven't done as much with this. So I would probably make like a caution or like a beware or like an alert sort of thing. Cat eye on Cat eye on There's a sign that's coming. Wow. Make like a little... Uh... No, it's a little, it does little look alert. like a nuclear power. <laughs> Whatever. So, the center I'm gonna draw nuclear power. of dilation <laughs> could be. I don't like that. This is harsh for my purposes today. The origin. Oh, yeah. It was that one. Okay. Oh, yeah. I saw that on my Then you said it was fun work. Seriously, they Oh, I know the whole thing. I just thought it died. Yeah, it did, but then they just brought it back for the time one day. 9 plus 10 is a real thing. And it does equal 19. One of the vertices. Or middle of the shape. I feel like there's a third one. There might be. We can come back to this if we find out that there's a fourth. Like any random point anywhere? Ooh. Yeah, you're right. Any point. Sure. Any point in the air center of dilation. Wait, really? How many times? I know. Surprising. It's almost like, it's almost like I was going to ask the question, wait, does it matter? <laughs> Okay, Queen. 
Freddie Mercury, nothing really matters to me. So this dilates from the origin. So we say whatever the distance from the origin is compared to the new, whatever the distance from the origin is, take your prime point over your original point, and that will tell us our scale factor. Prime. Prime point. So let's practice this because you don't have to have that written down. So, Casey, wow, Casey, wow. Casey goes to the copy machine, she starts playing around, decides to set the zoom to 200%. Maybe we should go play with the, the copy machine someday. Ooh, yeah. If she set the zoom to 50% versus 200%, how would that be different? Copier does not change in the angle measures, therefore the copier is dilating. So if our well, original... It's, it's not a C. Kind of a C. So, when we go to determine our scale factor here, we take the prime value, the new, the dilated value, over the original. Right. So, what's our scale factor in what we're looking at here? Three. Three. Or one third if this was the original and that was the new one. Right. If we flip around, which is the original? But original always goes on bottom. And if we compare it eighteen to six, same story. Two. Three. Three still. Yeah. So dilations create proportions. Right, and this is why we're doing two lessons in one day. So, if you had a dilation where we didn't know the other value, what's the scale factor here? Nine. Yeah. Doc Shea feels like it's twelve. Yeah, it is 12. yeah you're right. Ooh, we're right. Yeah, twelve. So what would X be? Yeah. <laughs> Man, Akshay is just taking class today. Wait. Mean. Uh, what? Taking what? No, he, he's what? She's like owning it. Yeah. Hey, don't call her average. That's insulting. How is average insulting? Well, well mean. Mean. Oh, wow. Answer this question. I'll stop talking. Talk with each other. Um, wait, this is a field. Wait, wait, no, isn't there this thing where, like. Are you thinking of side splitter? Yeah, I think so. Uh, are the two triangles so That's which, which two triangles? triangles? There we go. A, B, C, yeah, and A prime, B prime, C prime. Okay, so this is a real question. So Rashida drew ABC. Then dilated point A to create A, B prime, C prime, which honestly you could just say A also has a prime at the same spot. So wait. Why are the two triangles? Oh wait, they're telling us they're similar. Why are they similar? Because it was a dilation. Because dilations one. make similarity. Dilation. So because they tell us that Rashida dilated, we know it will for sure be similar. And we know the two lines are parallel. And this is only that length. So what is actually A B? A, B would actually be 10. And what would actually be A, B yeah. prime? So what proportion would that create? What should we set? Five over 2. Uh, 3. 5. Well, well, sure, that's an equivalent fraction, but we're looking at the shape we have. Oh, nine. So scale factor of 2 and a half, I, okay, so wait, what? Like X plus 9. Ooh, X plus oh. 9. So then we get to do those butterfly thingies. Over x. <laughs> Cross multiply? 10x equals 4x. So, hold on. 
I don't disagree. The butterfly thingy Next cross multi. Six. Hold on. Is there any other way? So I get it. We could cross multiply. We've learned about cross multiplication so years ago. But is nine the new length? No. So you can do x times two point five equals nine. But is nine the new length? Oh, you're probably nine times two point five equals less. But that's not right either. Um, you're throwing out a bunch of wrong things, which is uh, surprising. What's another way we could say? Hold on. What's another way we could say the new shape is 250% of the old shape without using 250 or 2.5 or any version of 250? So not like 5 Hmm? That's still the same number. You're not allowed to use that number, any form of that number. Uh, the other shape is uh, one fifth of it. One fifth. All right, now that's not right. That's not right. It's uh, one two over five. So one two point fifth. It's a different number. It is a different because number. Because we don't have the new length. Right, so essentially we should ignore the 10. Like, we have the, the new length 10, but we don't have the new length along the other side. What's another way you could say the new thing is 250%? What's the other way things get bigger? I mean, that's what I want to go do right now. What's the other way things get bigger? Guys, we're good at math, right? How else can we get bigger? Addition. Addition. Oh. Now, like, hopefully you're thinking in your head, like, he's lost it. He's trying to add in a proportional situation. But is there any way you could talk about addition? And because, like, what we're saying is X and 9, right? Like, we have addition here. And we have 4 and 6. We have addition here. So from I mean we could, but I'm trying to get you guys to think differently. I mean you're stretching out your mask, dude. You can multiply both sides by x, you can subtract nine from both sides, and then uh, you got what x equals. <laughs> In a very strange calculation, but it's what x equals. So here's our two triangles, right? with sides of 4 and x and sides of 10 and x plus 9. Is there, I, I might even make it worth a lifesaver, is there another way that we could say a, b, c is 250% of A, B prime, C prime, but not use 250%. How else could we say it's size? Well, we could say A prime, B prime, well, A is 2 times B prime plus A, B prime, C prime, plus one half of A, B prime, C prime equals A, B, C. So add another A, B, or add another A, C prime, and then add another half of one. Yeah, but you're still using 2.5. Yeah, but it's you scale faster. You could say that this is an uh, interesting question that doesn't have any practical application currently. Because All I'm trying to get you to say, <clears throat> and you're going to be mad, like, well, uh, duh. Like, I think we're oh. just probably, like, in one of those zones. The new dilated shape is 150% greater yeah. than the original. Okay. Right? So hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't, don't like discount me yet. So what we saw, what we see is that the six 
Do you want to finish out what I'm going to say? So then, you have to do 150% of 4. X divided, uh, 9 divided by 150. Nine divided 150% of X. There's no cross multiplication needed. There's no complicated problem solving. The other way they want you to do it involves a freaking quadratic, guys. What's a quadratic? I know! <laughs> <laughs> like, how are we supposed to use a quadratic? Is that like the x equals opposite b or whatever? Uh, it's like x squared plus something x plus something equals something. And then yeah, we solve like it. A over opposite oh. b. Uh, it's negative, uh, yeah, well, I'll show you the video. You, now, okay, it's, it's your fault. Just, by the way, it's your fault that you're going to see the video this early in the year. Oh, well, I didn't do that, Jake. Oh, I didn't do that, I didn't want to watch YouTube in that class, so I did. Oh, dang. Yeah, but once it gets Jake, stuck in your head, you might realize oh, what I mean. Oh, it's a song? Oh, no, that's not good. So. Haha, uh -huh, no. We know that diagram too. What's the question mark going to be? Sixty. Sixty. Because if we dilate the angles, stay the same. And that's that lesson. Wow. So. I feel like it's homework time, Jake. Four games. I also don't want to do homework. I should teach you guys fugitive now that I brought it.